Hello friends, welcome to Mahindra Guru, the Brahmas for success. We hope that you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. We hope that you have liked our FB page and we also hope that you are following us on Instagram because after all, it's the Brahmas for success that you have to follow. Let's start under this session of visual vocabulary for smart students just like you. Now, here's the first vocab challenge of the day. See, here's the first previous vocab challenge. In fact, the word was slummy. Being an adjective, it meant poor. In Hindi, it's ghatiya or you can also say buriya vastha mein. Now, we asked you, what's the missing synonym and what's the missing antonym over here? The correct answers along with the first set or first batch of vocab champions are right here. Now, the synonym was damaged and the antonym was repaired. And here are the first batch of vocab champions. They are Mr. Neeraj Singh, Ms. Divya Srivastava, and once again, Mr. Nitin Sansodia. To all of these guys, we like to express our congratulations because they have been the vocab champions of the first batch of the day. Now, let's start with the first word. See, here's the first word of the day. The word being gawk, which is the verb and means to stare at in amazement. So, gawk being a verb means stare at in amazement. Well, we have also given the Hindi meaning for every word. So, if you want to know about it, you can definitely note it down. Now, the synonyms are glare or ogle. The synonyms are glare or ogle. The antonyms are overlook or ignore. The antonyms are overlook or ignore. Now, here's an image for you, by the way, and with regards to it, we have given the filler. The puppy blank space at the broccoli. Now, what we meant to say is that the puppy stared in amazement at the broccoli. Okay, now word in question, gawk. Hence, the sentence will become, the puppy gawked at the broccoli, just as you can see over here. Let's go to the next one. See, here's the next word for you. It's vertical. Now, vertical, in fact, is an adjective and it means accurate. So, veridical being an adjective means accurate. The synonyms are authentic or definite. The synonyms are authentic or definite. Now, the antonyms are imprecise or inaccurate. The antonyms are imprecise or inaccurate. Well, here's an image for you, by the way. And with regards to it, we have given the filler. The blank space aim of the soldier eliminated the terrorist. What we mean to say over here is that the, the accurate aim of the soldier eliminated the terrorist. Now, the word in question, vertical. Hence, the sentence will become, the vertical aim of the soldier eliminated the terrorist. Let's go to the next one. See, here's the next one for you. The word being contemplate, which is a verb and means to think about seriously or to plan. So, contemplate being a verb means to think about seriously or plan. The synonyms are consider or ponder. The synonyms are consider or Ponder. The antonyms are neglect or reject. The antonyms are neglect or reject. Well, uh, here's an image for you, by the way. And with regards to it, we've given the filler. The monkey blank space before raiding banana trees. Actually, we have given the same uh, image before as well. And we had actually said that this is a really dull on an inactive monkey. But somewhere, we actually found information that this guy over here is a monkey king and he was actually planning on how to raid bananas. So, now what we mean to say over here is that the monkey is thinking seriously about and you can also say that it's planning about what, how to do and what to do before raiding banana trees. Now, the word in question, contemplate. Hence, the sentence will become, the monkey contemplated before raiding banana trees. Now, let's go to the next one. See, here's the next word for you. Now, the word is grapple. Being a verb, it means to grab or wrestle. So, grapple being a verb means to grab or wrestle. Or you can wrestle, or you can also say that, you know, to go after something or to face off something like that. Now, the synonyms are confront or contend. The synonyms are confront or contend. The antonyms are agree or avoid. Means the antonyms, we say agree because without any confrontation, just agree to whatever I've been done or what I've been done. So, Antonyms are agree or avoid. Well, here's an elephant calf for you, by the way. And with regard to it, we have given the filler. The elephant calf tries to blank space birds daily. So, the elephant calf that you see over here tries to grab or you can also say, you know, chase or you can also say wrestle birds daily. As you can see, he's actually going after one of them. So, the word in question, it's grapple. Hence, the sentence will become the elephant calf. The elephant calf, in fact, tries to grapple birds daily. Let's go to the next one. 
See, here's the next one for you. The word is importunate. Now, importunate being an adjective means a whining person. So, importunate being an adjective means a whining person. The synonyms are appealing or pleading. The synonyms are appealing or pleading. The antonyms are satisfied or undemanding. The antonyms are satisfied or undemanding. Well, I hope that you remember this guy. We have seen him before as well. And at that time, he was uh, dropped from the soccer team. And with regards to him, we have given the filler. The blank space boy wants to be selected for his school's soccer team. So, this boy who is actually kind of whining right now. So, the whining boy wants to be selected for the school soccer team. Now, the word in question, importunate. Hence, the sentence will become, the importunate boy wants to be selected for his soccer team. So, I suppose that you have liked the video till now. If you haven't, please like it and then we move forward. See, here we move forward. Now, previous vocab challenge 2, the previous one that you saw that was the vocab challenge 1. This is the previous vocab challenge 2. The word kibble being a verb, it meant crush or you can also say to break into pieces. The synonyms are tukde, tukde karna in Hindi. Now, we asked you what's the missing synonym and what's the missing antonym by the way. And here are the vocab champions along with the correct answers. The correct synonym was crumble and the correct antonym was build. And here, are, here is the second batch in fact of our vocab champions. They are Mr. Rupesh Kumar, Miss Smita Mondul and Mr. Manish Prakash. Now I want to make a point over here. See, make sure that you have actually uploaded your own picture in, on the YouTube channel that you have liked, subscribed our channel from. Because if you haven't uploaded your own picture or there's no picture, then we would not be able to show you as our vocab champion. Hence, your picture should be genuine. And to all these three, we would like to extend our warmest, our warmest regards, in fact, because they have become the vocab champions. Now, let's go to the next one. See, here's the sixth word, irreducible. Being an adjective, it means unchangeable. So, irreducible being an adjective, it means unchangeable. Now, the synonyms are permanent or unalterable. The synonyms are permanent or unalterable. The, the antonyms are variable or changeable. The antonyms are variable or changeable. Well, here's an image for you, by the way. And with the gas we have given the filler. The walking style of a person is not an blank space quality. So, what we want to say over here is that the walking style of a person is not an unchangeable quality. You can actually change it and you can all, in fact modify it. That's why actually many of the soldiers that you see before becoming soldiers, they were casual youth people. But then again, when they were trained, when you can say that when, they, when they, they were in proper training and uh, they went through a proper grooming, then they became soldiers and then they did a really fine march just they do even today. So, the walking style of a person is not an irreducible quality. Let's go to the next one. See, here's the next one for you. The word being imperturbable. Now, imperturbable is an adjective that means not easily excited or upset. So, imperturbable being an adjective means not easily excited or upset. The synonyms are complacent or composed. The synonyms are complacent or composed. The antonyms are jittery or irritable. So, the antonyms are jittery or irritable. Well, here's an image of a pup for you, by the way. And with regards to it, we've given the filler. My blank space puppy loves to sleep. My blank space puppy loves to sleep. The word in question, imperturbable. Hence, the sentence will become, my imperturbable puppy loves to sleep. Let's go to the next one. See, here's the next one for you. Now, it's horse. See, horse being an adjective means raspy in voice. So, horse being an adjective means raspy in voice. The synonyms are harsh or gruff. The synonyms are harsh or gruff. The antonyms are polite or smooth. The antonyms are polite or smooth. Well, here's an image for you, by the way. And with regards to it, we've given the filler. The singer has a blank space voice. Now, what we want to say is that the singer has a raspy voice. Okay, word in question, horse. Hence, the sentence will become, the singer has a horse voice. Now, it, it, he, doesn't have, he doesn't have a horse in his voice. His voice is horse. Now, let's go to the next one. See, here's the next one for you. Now, it's winsome. See, winsome being an adjective means charming. Winsome being an adjective means charming. The synonyms are captivating or delightful. The synonyms are captivating or delightful. The antonyms are repulsive or unattractive. Now, the antonyms are repulsive or unattractive. Well, here's an image for you. By the way, it's a really picturesque one. And with regards to it, we've given the filler. Here's a blank space live photo for all of you. 
So what we want to say is that here's a charming life photo for all of you out there. Now the word in question, winsome, hence the sentence will become, here's a winsome life photo for all of you. Now sadly, the last word. Well, here's the last word for you. Now, it's exponential being an adjective. It means rapidly changing. So, exponential being an adjective means rapidly changing. The synonyms are aggressive or epidemic, just like an epidemic, just the way it spreads. So, synonyms are aggressive or epidemic. Now, the antonyms are slow or unhurried. The antonyms are slow or unhurried. Well, you can see the image over here. It's actually of a volcano erupting in fact and with regards to it we've given the filler the blank space lava pattern can be seen here what we want to convey over here is that how rapidly does magma changes into lava in uh, during a volcano can be seen right here so the blank space lava pattern can be seen here the word in question exponential hence the sentence will become the exponential lava pattern can be seen here so that was all in the vocab section. Let's have a look at the vocab challenge of the day. See, here's the vocab challenge of the day. The word being corybantic, being an adjective, it meant delighted. In Hindi, it's utsahit. The given synonym is rapturous. The given antonym is sorrowful. You have to tell us what's the missing synonym and what's the missing antonym that we told you in the previous session of visual vocabulary. So that was all in the session of visual vocabulary. We hope that you liked our video already and we also hope that you have subscribed to our YouTube channel. You have liked our every page. You are following us on Instagram and most importantly, you have our app because that's available on Google Play Store and also on Windows Store. So your success is our success. Thank you.